one of our daily routines will be to gather prefix and suffix. So we'll be making six different prefix suffix lists as the year goes along. And the reason why we focus on prefixes and suffixes in a class like science is that you're going to encounter a lot of new vocabulary and a lot of times science words are known for being big and long uh, and seeming really complicated and the way that we approach vocabulary in here is not to do an endless list of vocabulary terms and definitions we go about it a different way by tackling it through no the knowledge of prefix and suffixes so by knowing the roots of words we can figure out um, what that word means, what the definition is for a word. So again, you will have six different uh, prefix suffix lists. Now where you will access your list will be on Schoology. So you can access your list and your, where you will see that. Um, you'll see it in a folder of prefix suffixes. Um, you'll also see it over here on upcoming, so your prefix suffix set number one. And for your uh, sheet, it's just a Google document. And I have one of these for each class. So there's one for second period, third period, and fourth period. And all of you all for set number one will be working with a blue sheet. Now the way that this works is that I will post two words for each day. Now if you're in the classroom, these words will be written on the side chalkboard in the upper right hand corner. If you are distance learning for that particular day, then uh, the prefix suffixes will be listed here uh, on this sheet. But either way, they, they will be uh, recorded daily on this sheet. And for each day, you will have two prefix suffixes. Um, I'll give you the prefix suffix and I'll give you some examples. And then uh, we try to guess the definition. So on day one, you can see up here prefix suffix sheet number one. Again, there are going to be six different sheets. Each sheet will have 20 words. And then at the end of 20 words, we'll have a little quiz. So just a little vocab quiz. And you'll see which day it is. It's day one. So I'm going to start here with number one and number two. Now the first one here, I'm just going to type these in. So if you need a little tutorial for using Google Docs, here's how it goes. I'm just going to, I've made a little chart. Uh, go to number one. We're going to type it in. And the first thing we're going to type is bio. So that's our first prefix suffix. I can make this a little bit bigger, I guess. I have to be stingy with it. And when I'm talking about bio, there's several examples. Um, but one of the big ones is biology. I could also use biodegradable or antibiotics or maybe even a biome. And then uh, typically I give you all an opportunity to guess. Now this is more fun when you're in the classroom. Uh, distance learning, I guess you could kind of uh, try to guess on your own before I put down the definition. But eventually uh, I'm gonna add the definition for bio here. And bio means life or living. So I'll add both of those right there. Again, I'll try not to be so stingy with my font size next time. So there's the first one. Now the second one is logi or some people might put ology. Doesn't matter. And for this one I could again put biology. I could put zoology. I'm just going to add a different example in there other than biology. I could put cardiology, physiology, um, psychology, and then see if anybody has any guesses about what logy or ology would mean. 
So hopefully this is what you were thinking. Right, the study of. Now, if you take Latin or if you're taking Latin, a lot of these prefix suffixes you're going to be hearing in there. Now, uh, here is the main reason why we do this. I could right now ask you to give me a definition for biology. And now you don't need to get out a textbook, and we have an online textbook. You don't need to Google it. You can just look at your prefix suffix sheet. So if I'm asking you for a definition for biology, you can now say it's the study of life or it's the study of living things. So that's the reason why that we do prefix suffixes in a science class uh, is to help us with vocabulary. So we're not doing uh, a thousand uh, vocabulary terms and definitions. Okay, so this is going to be our routine at some point in class, usually right at the very beginning. Um, you can go ahead and write down your prefix suffixes if you're in the classroom setting. If you're distance learning, each day I will post the two words for that day and give you a chance to try to figure out the definition. And again, when we get to the end of this, when we get to word 20, then we'll have a little uh, vocabulary quiz.